Hello, this is Brian Casey of The Imaging Wire. We are here at RSNA 2024, and we are here in the booth of Intellirad with CEO Jordan Bozinski and President Morris Panner. Gentlemen, thanks for being with us today. Thank you for having us. Thanks for having us. So uh, RSNA, uh, it's, it's radiology Super Bowl uh, and World Cup all rolled into one. Uh, one of the big, it's, it's a clinical meeting, but also it's a big meeting that's important uh, for education. And one of the issues that's been kind of popping up is the impact of, of AI on radiology education. Um, Morris, what do you see happening there? Uh, so it's a pretty dynamic time. And I think one of the quotes that I love is Vinod Koshla, the renowned VC, said, if you want to be a great doctor, study math. And I think you're really seeing the impact of AI on medical education and the need to start thinking about how you're going to integrate that. But I would actually put a gloss on that and say it's not study math, I would study workflow. And if you're really thinking about informatics, I think that's a good investment when you're thinking about medical education. And I like the fact that more and more institutions are putting that into the curriculum. Jordan, how about you? What do you what, what's the impact that you're seeing with uh, AI and regu education? It's interesting. Physicians are their core scientists. And it's easy sometimes to forget that as a patient in the moment talking about your healthcare. But they're scientists at heart. And AI is very much the natural extension of the process of experimentation in driving towards answers using more and more data to bring about the best possible conclusion that you can get to. And so we're really seeing that in the educational process with radiologists. How do they test? How do they apply in real time and quickly get to the best possible answer for patients? Interesting. Now, another issue that's, that's been important in healthcare and also in radiology in particular is this issue of burnout. And because we're seeing um, healthcare staff having to do more and more with, with less resources, can AI, Morris, can AI help there? Yeah, I think big picture, and Jordan and I talk about this a lot, is the mismatch between the people available to do what needs to be done and the demand for what they do. And can AI close that gap? I think the answer is yes, but in kind of a paradoxical way. It is not the case that all of a sudden AI is going to diagnose. I think what you're seeing Intellirad do and what we really like to talk about is enhancing the workflow and taking away some of the what I call scut work around being a radiologist so that you can practice at the top of your license. And we think that has the promise and it's what we're excited about with our whole intelligence product launch. That we think can really change the equation. And are there challenges in AI integration? I know that a lot of radiologists are kind of worried about, you know, this is a new technology. How do I integrate it into my practice? So, and really credit to Jordan on thinking around how do you set up a suite of services that is going to make the integration easier and more intuitive. And that's what intelligence is about. There's an API, it's kind of a technical term, but it really just means there's a logical way to inject the AI into the workflow. And that is now going to be accessible. Everyone's trained on it, and it's going to make it much easier to make it just a standard part of a radiologist day. And when it comes to deployment, um, what are we seeing in terms of AI deployment making that easier? So that's a big component of it. I think at the end of the day, we're in the middle of a, a pretty big shift. There are sort of three ways to do it, we think. One way is the marketplaces, and we work with a bunch. We've recently mm -hmm. signed uh, deals with Carpel. We have a relationship with Blackford. We've worked with uh, AI doc, ADOC. We'll end up, I think, working with Deep Sea. There's going to be a lot of that, so that's one option. The second is through the tool set that we provide through intelligence. That's a direct way to do it. And the third way is we're kind of setting up our own AI lab and ecosystem, which will let us directly sell those algorithms that kind of the lab starts to feel are kind of some consensus favorites on our paper, which is going to make the purchasing and credentialing experience easier. Now, Jordan, what are you seeing in hot topics here at RSNA? What are some of the things that, that kind of are, are getting you excited? AI looms large. It is impossible <laughs> to walk 10 feet without bumping into some AI conversation, yeah, 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 right? Yeah. And, and I might take that one level down to say, where today there's so much focus on generative AI, there's this burgeoning sense that agentic AI, this idea that the AI will be able to make decisions, that that's really what's coming fast and furious towards all of us. 
to the point Morris was making, not necessarily to make a diagnostic decision on behalf of a patient, but when you think about all of the pieces of the workflow and the many administrative components of what has to be done in the day, the AI is going to very quickly get to a place where it can take action yeah. and move all of that through. So that's really one thread of conversation we're feeling a lot here at uh, Arsene A24. Another one is cloud, all yeah. things cloud. Yeah. Yeah. And if you think about the last several years of cloud, the conversation was, how does one get to the cloud? Mm -hmm. What does the cloud mean? Now, the conversation is very much, how do we take cloud and apply that in a way that is very advantageous to physicians and patients? Yeah. So for example, how do we ensure that the geographic co-location of data is optimizing and reducing latency, which speeds time to answers for an end patient? And that conversation is permeating so much of what we're hearing yeah. here. Yeah. So I would, I would cite those two themes as being very present uh, across the, the conference. And, and so, what are, what's Intellirad highlighting here at the meeting? You guys have, have you did a, a rebrand earlier this year, you kind of rebranded some of your product lines, you've got a nice new logo, um, and you had a product launch right before RSNA, so can you talk to that a little bit? Absolutely, so we just launched the Intelligence AI platform, we're very proud of that work, and it's the culmination of quite a lot of work over the last 18 to 24 months to crystallize what does AI mean in the context of a radiologist's daily work. And so for us, this is very much an integration platform. It allows us to bring best of breed algorithms into the workflow and ensures that at that moment, the point of care where the clinician is looking at and reading, we can make it seamless. We're not pulling people out of their workflow and we're allowing them to be as good, as fast as possible to the point, Morris, that you are making to really work at the top of their license. Excellent, very good. Well, gentlemen, Morris Panner and Jordan Bazinski of Intellirad, thanks so much for being with us. It's great to be here, Brian. Always a pleasure, Brian. Great to see you. Signing off from RSNA 2024, my name is Brian Casey. Yeah.